Zaccaroni has really paid New Zealand the ultimate compliment, but also, again, a reflection of the importance of this match to the Samurai Blue. And that really, Harry, they are at or as close to full strength as you can expect. You look at the clubs represented in this lineup. The New Zealand side, a very young team. It really is an opportunity, isn't it, for interim coach Neil Emblem, Harry, to blood some new players. And boy, has he done that. Oh, there's some exciting players about to take the park. And one of them for the first time is debut. Number 14 there, Ryan Thomas. Early set-piece opportunity for the New Zealanders. McGlinchey. It's a handy enough ball. It eludes everyone and just goes beyond the far post. That was a great delivery from McGlinchey. And perhaps just a little more aggression required here from those on the end of it. I'm sure looking at that one replay, he'd be disappointed he wasn't able to get a touch. Flag stays down and getting back and somehow scoring. Well, that is a comedy of errors. And the opening goal of the game goes to Shinji Okazaki. And it looked for all the world as though New Zealand had that covered and suddenly Glenn Moss slips. And the opening goal, Harry, they should have had this covered, the All Whites. Well, it was a missed touch, wasn't it, from Okazaki. Glenn Moss had committed himself, wasn't it? A hint of offside there, but... Yeah, Glenn Moss. The yeah, unfortunate for Moss, slipping at that vital moment, but... Waitakari were 2-0 down against... Uh, from memory, I think, Harry, uh, Iraqi opposition as here come Japan again. And uh, great tackle, penalty! Penalty given. I think it's Tui Loma that's come flying in. Durante's having a word. Kagawa, the player that's earned it. The challenge came flying in. Shinji Kagawa. 2-0 just. Glenn Moss went the right way. New Zealand are under the pump. The All Whites are in big trouble in Tokyo. But it wasn't the best penalty from Kakaba, was it? Glenn Moss was able to get a hand on it. I think he'd probably be disappointed, Moss, that he saved a recent penalty for, for the Phoenix not too long ago. Ten minutes spell, only ten minutes, Andrew, and it's 2-0, and it's... The Japanese looking likely they're going to be cruising. And again they've scored. Well, this is a rout. New Zealand are being hammered. 3-0. And this is simple set-piece stuff. Too easy for Japan. Well, nice floated free kick, similar to the one we saw for Michael McGlinchey for the all Whites. Up front, he's on debut. Japan now on the counter. Space for Kagawa, and that's a phrase that would uh, strike fear into the heart of many defenders. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that is superb. There's no flag here. That is just too easy. They've walked through the New Zealand side, and it's the fourth. Scored again by Okazaki. Again, Kagawa. The instrumentalist again, the magician here, threading the ball through to Honda. What a touch here from the veteran. Kagawa again. Loads of space too, Andrew. Look uh, at every time he gets the ball, he's got... A uh, lovely ball, and this time an air shot. And that was very nearly a hat-trick so early in the game for Shinji Okazaki. Not a pretty sight after 25 minutes, so yes, you're absolutely right. A, a goal would certainly lift some confidence here. Well, Chris Wood drives it across into the side netting. The last touch, I think, coming off Tyler Boyd. I was about to say it's a rather unusual candidate from that position, but Chris Wood driving that around the wall, and it is Tyler Boyd. Just about a goal on debut. A basic fundamental defensive defensive lines and defensive programs will certainly be something Andrew Durante and Michael Boxer will be trying to communicate to the side just to keep tight, keep our shape. 
Make sure the guys in front of us are limiting space for the Japanese side. It's just too too much space though for them at the moment. Barbarisis. And this time Chris Wood takes a deflection. They've got a corner. Well. Lynchy is one of the senior pros in this side. Boyd again. This little back heel. Wood. Chris Wood. Good strength. That's what you expect. Chris Wood in behind them. And Wood tries one. Wood scores one. They're on the scoreboard. That is class. That is brilliant from Chris Wood. Well, we've seen some of these young or some of the talent that they possess. Tyler Boyd there, Chris Wood using his physical ability to hustle a couple of defenders off the ball in a tight situation. What a fantastic finish from Chris Wood here. Used his strength to push off Saki and then just the determination here, wanting to score. Maybe a little bit of, bit of help there from, from one of the Japanese defenders. He really is a, a thrill as a New Zealander to come to the stadium. And to see the name of Peter Snell back in 1964. Gold, of course, in the 800 and 1500 metres. That's a very proud New Zealand history, though, for the moment, has just been put in the shade by the modern day Japanese football side, the Blue Samurai. Durante, it's about as far forward as the centre back's been outside of set piece play. Rue. Rue gets away. Rue with some wriggle room. Woods one target, Woods, Chris Wood, very nearly just a whisker away. Well, the referees pulled a hammy. So we're going to have a pause in proceedings here. The cold hasn't got to the players just yet, but it has got to Alan Milliner. I think he's, he's going to give himself a card. Eight. I also think he was reaching in his back pocket. He's gone. He's off. So there'll be a change. It was right on the edge of the area, Harry. Was there contact on Chris Wood? Yeah, it looked like there was, wasn't there? I think Tojo, yes, it's, it's always tough for the fourth official coming on like this. We don't see it too often, do we? This is good from New Zealand. Chance now! Just missing was Tyler Boyd. And for the third or fourth time in the match, New Zealand just needing to make good contact, and surely they score. And uh, now changes for the New Zealanders and Ben Sigmund. Chris James coming off for Michael McGlinchey too by the looks of things. Kawashima punches. Ambitious! Takes a deflection. And uh, is the flag up or do we have a corner? I think it may well be offside, but let's have a look at this. The technique was superb, Harry. Yeah, Tyler, the I think Tyler Boyd again here in different parts of Europe, but uh, they do have a, a lot of players. Good uh, supply line into Germany. Here's Honda. Honda who plays with Milan. And Glenn Moss just stayed strong on that one. That was hit with some ferocity. Brocky on for Barbarousis. And uh, Storm Rue departs. Japan enjoying a better spell here now the last five minutes or so. Kagawa. Honda dinks it over. Sigmund dinks it away. Nagatomo. Teeing it up, driving it. Has Moss got a piece of this or is it straight off the upright? Regardless. It's a near miss for the All Whites. Japan almost getting their fifth. Well, Kiyo Ataki here, a fantastic strike from outside the box. Great technique. Yes, it was off the post. I think you look back at the A-League, Andrew, it is getting really, really tight. I think all 10 teams are, are still vying. I mean, I know the, the top two or three are pretty much guaranteed to make the top six, but the likes of... This might fall for Chris Wood. He'll try one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. He had a week to think about that. He had three training sessions, a couple of flights, and then he just got too excited. Just talking about the A-League before, Andrew, you know, Melbourne Hart looked like they were down and out four or five weeks ago. Have certainly... Well, they're the best team in the they league. They are. They're the most yeah, the informed team at the moment. That's good from Ryan Thomas. Now Brocky, is that his first touch? 
Payne. Payne delivers. Wood waits. Wood scores. Oh, that is stunning from Chris Wood. Tim Payne with the vision. How about the strength and the poise from the big man? 4 2. But he has played that Lone Ranger role, sorry, really well, Chris Wood. And the, the, the Whites have played to his strengths. I mean, we've seen those balls inside the box from, from wide areas. He's just, you know, unable to get a touch on any of those crosses. But this one was a spectacular finish again. The likes of Thomas, there is Rory Fallon. On the, another measured pass. the captain I reckon they'd like a full stop on this Japan they'd love a, a fifth goal just to reassert their dominance Boxel just gets a toe on it left foot Honda right foot Endo left foot Honda good save Moss acrobatic There is the final whistle of a most entertaining encounter. The Kirin challenge goes the way of the home side, the Japanese, the Samurai Blue. A dominant opening 17 minutes with four goals. Look at that on the left, but look at the response from New Zealand. Two goals for Chris Wood. They really did battle bravely and they competed superbly, showing plenty of promise for the future of this New Zealand team with a number of youngsters getting their start in international football.